Hello friends, this video on biological classification part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, now keeping this agenda clear in our mind, before I finally conclude this discussion on fungi, let us quickly look at some of the very important fungi. However, I have discussed all different types, but now we will talk about few examples of fungi which are very commonly seen by all of us. So let us talk about some common fungi. The first would be yeast. Yeast is the only unicellular fungi. Other than that, all other fungi are multicellular. So that is one interesting or important thing about yeast. However, some of them might turn multicellular by formation of hyphae. That means after they, all of them will grow as hyphae. So now when their hyphae becomes branched and filamentous, maybe they'll group together to form multicellular. They do not need sunlight for growth. So that is why they prefer to grow in dark places. Organic compounds are utilized for energy. So they do not need sunlight. So what they so how will they get energy? They can utilize the organic comp compounds as a source of energy. Some of their important application is they are used in the preparation of bread, beer, wine. These are some of the very important applications of yeast. That is why yeast is a very important and um, of significance. It is found almost again everywhere, soil, insects, fruit, skin, human toe skin. You would have often seen that people get fungal infection in their toe. So, all the, the, so on all those places also you get to see yeast. The next one would be mushroom, spore bearing fruiting body. So as I said, they are produced above ground or on soil. They consist of a stem, cap and pores on the underside of cap. So this is the stem, this part is the stem, this is the cap and on the underside of the cap, that means on this portion, you actually have this scale like structure which will form the basidium and on the basidium you will actually have the spores. And the third one would be molds. Now, you remember while I was talking about protista, I told you that slime molds, even though the name is molds, but they are not under fungi, they are under protista. So the molds are actually under fungi and this is how they look like. So when I talk about molds, they are multicellular, they grow in the form of interconnected hyphae. Several drugs are obtained from molds. One of the best example of molds would be penicillin. So the antibiotic penicillin is obtained from a mold. Right? So these were some very important fungi. Now let us look at the overall importance of fungi. It helps in decomposition of organic wastes because they primarily act as decomposers. So fungi and bacteria, they go hand in hand in cleaning our atmosphere. Valuable in plastic industry, valuable in obtaining drugs like penicillin. So they also play a very important role in baking industries. Just now I told you, yeast helps in making bread and stuff like that. So these are some of the very important uses of fungi. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.